flexibility is not spineless is our topic today because we have to have that balance where sometimes you know we we know what we want we know the way that things ought to be and so we we get rigid and controlling because we're trying to make things happen the way we know they ought to be and so it's always easy when we veer off in one extreme to try to resolve that extreme by going to the other extreme and the other ditch there are ditches on both sides of the road and so rigid and controlling is one ditch going along the path of life i always imagine it for some reason that we're riding donkeys whenever there's two ditches and you're going between them i don't know why donkeys is what i picture so we're riding our donkey down the path and we've gotten back on the well the donkey is flexibility but instead of jumping from rigid controlling perfectionism on one side, instead of jumping from that onto the donkey of flexibility, we jump over the donkey into the other ditch in the road. And that's being spineless, being jello, being a jellyfish. <laughs> And if saying like, well, nothing matters. I can't, if I can't control it, then just whatever, 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 whatever. So saying whatever, deciding to not care is not flexibility. It's not the key to flexibility. It's not the answer to being too rigid and controlling. But we think that the controlling perfectionism is caring. And so to fix it, sometimes we give up on the caring. And it can go the other way too, where it's like, well, I'm, I don't care right now. And I recognize that to be a problem. And so we go over into caring about the wrong things or in the wrong way. And that leads us to that controlling perfectionism. And so we don't want to be in either of those ditches. We got to get on the donkey <laughs> of flexibility, which is funny because I don't like donkeys and flexibility don't go together at all, but uh, they are stable. So I think sometimes we think of that flexibility might be just giving everybody what they want or doing our best to make everybody happy, make as many people happy as possible. But flexibility, the good kind of flexibility, isn't people pleasing. And it isn't trying to do everything. And it isn't trying to do nothing either. It is rolling with the punches. But it has to have an anchor. It does have to have a stability. So we talked a little bit last time about um, having a base, an anchor in order to be flexible. And that applies here today in talking about what flexibility is not. It's not spineless. So it's more like a tree. It's like metaphor switch. Hold on. <laughs> metaphor whiplash. Flexibility is a tree. And there's a trunk that has deep roots and it can bend and sway, but it's stable. It's not going anywhere. And the branches kind of can move all over, but they're connected to the trunk. And so they're going to stay put. When they, when those branches die, then they break off in a windstorm and cause all kinds of problems because they're too rigid. They're too brittle. But um, trees don't just flop to the ground. Um, they have that base. And so we have to identify what's the base and what are the branches 
that sway and go with the flow. And it is having the base that allows for the branches to go with the flow and flex and respond to the situations and circumstances that we have, right? So the situations, the circumstances, the crazy things going on in the world is the wind. And when we have a base, we can adapt and move with that wind without being blown off course, without being blown over. And so the base is glorifying God and enjoying him forever. It's responding in gratitude to the situation, knowing that there is a way to honor and glorify God in it. And it isn't deciding like, here is what I am going to do or be or become or accomplish. If we try to choose something that is self-central or some kind of agenda we've identified as our most important, our most important accomplishment in the world. And it's, you know, some kind of external accomplishment or achievement. And we fix our base, our security on that. It's not going to be security. That's actually the shifting sand that doesn't have the, the endurance or the stability to actually withstand winds. That's sand, not rock for another, another metaphor shift. We have to hold details loosely and hold outcomes that we imagine loosely and um, recognize that the important things are um, gratitude. Uh, So thanking God for the opportunities that he does provide in the midst of the the crazy circumstances (laughs) and um and knowing that in the circumstances whatever they are there is a way to glorify god and he will show us that way if we are praying and wanting it And if we're willing for it to be something other than our way, (laughs) it is knowing that there are core (laughs) obedience issues that no matter what the circumstances and situations we're in are, there is a way to move forward in gratitude, in obedience. And so that's going to be always rejecting anger rejecting overwhelm, choosing to love people even when they're annoying and irritating, Uh, choosing to honor our husband and take his input and advice without being offended and uh, letting that influence our decisions. It is um, cheerfully doing the duties that God has assigned us, even if it's not what we had hoped they would be. So it's not, um, you know, there are some things that are just core for all God's people. And then for the most part, there are particular applications for particular people of general principles, like loving people. Um, And so no matter what circumstance we find ourselves in, there is a way to glorify God in it by choosing gratitude, choosing obedience, uh, choosing to give up our agendas and our self-made identities and walk in the identity of being a Christian and making choices in that framework rather than I'm the kind of person who always has my house put together, or I'm the kind of person who 
always has an amazing holiday spread. I'm the kind of person who fill in the blank. <laughs> and sometimes those things that we fill in the blank with are great things. They just aren't primary things. They are things that might need to flex and give way at different times. And so the base, the secure foundation is only Christ.